welcome back day two of madden 21 no money spent again it's a waste of money to spend and buy bundles and all that when you can do this just takes a little bit of work uh yesterday i went ahead and finished my adrian peterson um take a quick look at the team re here real quick you can see i'm a 76 overall i'm okay with that i might try online here pretty soon um, I think I'd be okay. I think it'd be too tough. Um, not going to beat the, the Wallet Warriors, but you can be able to compete with other people. So as you can see, Adrian or Andre Johnson, I've now moved up to 84. I did the level challenges. It took me a little bit of time to figure that out. I pulled Joel Thune out of a ghetto gold when it comes to uh, the, the Adrian Peterson solos. Um, obviously, I still have Adrian Peterson. Uh, my defense much improved. I actually pulled Von Miller out of one of the level up free packs that you get. So that was nice. Uh, upgrade just a little bit. Um, as you can see, I need a new strong safety, but that's really kind of the main concern and probably the only concern right now. Yeah, so that's an update on the team. Um, I also pulled 50K worth of Geta players. Uh, and here's kind of a breakdown on how that looks. Just like yesterday, what we're going to do is we're going to go down and get a players. We're going to buy the 500 coin pack. And we're actually doing 50k worth of those this time. So I believe that's 100 uh, get a players if my math's correct. So as you can see here, I'm pulling. Once you get done pulling all the cards that you want, you're going to put them into sets. As you put them into sets, I actually put them into rookie set still. Uh, early in the year this is really a good idea so you're putting the low silvers into high silvers you're gonna make them into packs um, and I think I can't remember exactly how many I had out of there but as you can see here I'm just kind of going through the process to show you a little bit of what you do uh, once you're done with that as you can see I had 10 66 to 69 rookies um, and so on so I had a lot of a lot of packs out of the 50k which is good you want you want more opportunities to pull uh, decent cards or power-ups or anything like that. So I will tell you this out of 50k. I Actually pulled zero power-ups. So now I'm a little bit worried that power-ups are not part of this um, I'm not sure exactly especially in the exchange that's out of all the exchanges I didn't pull any power-ups and that that makes me worry a little bit. So after you're done ripping all those exchange packs that you did you're actually gonna put those cards the uh, low silvers uh, into high silvers and high silvers into low golds and low golds into high golds uh, no different than what we did yesterday like i said yesterday was only 25k though today we were doing 50k again i'm about minimizing risk and i believe this is the best way to minimize risk uh you know with minimizing risk you can sometimes have good rewards um uh, so you see i pulled cd lamb i believe he sold for about 8k so that was good um, but you're also going to pull rookies that maybe aren't very good, like this guy. 73 overall rookie. I think he maybe sold for 4K. Again, not terrible, but not great. Justin Jefferson sold for, I believe, 8K. Um, so that was a good pull. Um, here's 75 through 79 overall golds. Uh, again, I pull it. I keep exchanging them all the way up. Um, even though you can sell them, sell them at 70 to 74. Uh, I don't. Uh, again, Braden Mann, uh, a great pull right there. Again, I think he sold, this time he didn't sell for 60K, he sold for 40, 41K, I believe it was. So that's a good profit. Either way, didn't, didn't really matter to me. It's about trying to minimize my risk and get my coins back. So uh, again, I spent 50K uh, yesterday in Geta Players. Um, and it's looking okay. Looking okay right now. My team is looking okay. I did upgrade my team a little bit. Uh, with these cards, actually. You see 79 Bryce Callahan. Uh, not a bad pull. Not a bad pull at all. Uh, Marquis Lee, not great, but I mean, all it adds up. I think he was 3K. Again, adds up. Uh, you're just trying to get your money, your coins back, and hopefully Carson Wentz. I think he's over 10K. So I can see I actually went up about 60K yesterday, 80K, something like that. So that's the video. Please like and subscribe.